All right, let's look at our units of um, solution. Now we need to have multiple units of solution because we're gonna do multiple things with our solution. We've got some issues. First issue is that molarity is temperature dependent. Because it has volume in the denominator, it is going to depend on the temperature. As the volume temperature goes up, the volume of the solution goes up. So we're going to need some units that are that are fixed given our temperatures. So we're going to use molarity, mole fraction, and mass percentage when we need temperature fixed. And we've got another one in here we're going to have to talk about, and that is normality. So a list of our concentration units. Percent by mass. If you buy stuff at the grocery store, it's going to be percent by mass. It will be grams of the solute over grams of the solution times 100. Percent by volume. Um, alcohol is um, described this way. It's your milliliters of your solute, which in, this, in alcohol would be um, ethanol, over the total volume of the solution. Now, in medical solutions, if you go and you get an IV and you have a 5% dextrose solution, that is going to be percent mass to volume. And that is going to be grams of solute over the volume of the whole solution in mils times 100. So these three are all simple ratios times 100. Mole fraction. We're going to need mole fraction to talk about vapor pressure lowering. And this is just a fraction, meaning it's going to be moles of a solute over the total. There's going to be no um, addition here. It's just going to be something like 0.25 and 0.75, simply fractions. Molarity we're familiar with. Molarity is moles of solute over the volume of the solution in liters. Now note, every single one of these is over the total. There's one exception to this over the total, and that is molality. Molality is moles of solute over the mass of the solvent in units of kilograms. And we're going to use that when we do our freezing point depression and our boiling point elevation. So moles per liter. We're familiar with this. This is at a Chem 111. This is simply moles of our solute over the volume of the solution in liters. Okay, now we have molarity and we're good with this. We do a lot of this with acids and bases. Again, it has limitations based on its temperature. Now, sometimes we're just not interested in the moles of whatever our total compound is. We don't want the moles of the compound. We want to know how many moles of like an active ingredient we have. And this is frequently done for acids and bases. So instead of wanting moles of the total acid like H2SO4, we don't want that. We really want moles of H+. So what we're looking at is the number of moles of an H+, or an H OH-, and figuring out what that's going to do to our total amount of this stuff per liter. So for example, if I have 1.5 molar HCl, because I've got one mole of H plus for every one mole of HCl, our molarity, M, is equal to our normality, and normality is defined as a number of equivalents per liter. That is like our active ingredient, which in this case would be H plus. On the other hand, if I have sulfuric acid, if I have sulfuric acid and I have um, two moles of H plus, and we know that because of the two down here, for every one mole of sulfuric acid, it is going to deliver twice as much H plus. And we're going to say that it's going to have a concentration of if we started out with 1.5 molar, we're going to multiply this by that too, and we really are going to multiply it by that too, and that is going to give us three normal. Another one that we're going to do is we're going to do molality. Molality is moles of solute per kilogram of the solvent. This is not the total. Our molarity and our molality are not going to be the same because the total volume is not going to be the same as how much solvent we have. We're going to have solute in there. But if it's not very much solute, they can be close. So let's do some math. If we have a 750 ml bottle of wine that is 12% by volume alcohol, how much alcohol, which is our ethanol, same stuff, does this contain? Best way to do this is to take and write down precisely what our concentration units mean. 12% by volume means 12 mils of ethanol for every 100 mils of wine. So our question then is how many mils of ethanol 
are we going to have for every, every 750 mils of wine? It really is a nice simple ratio. We will cross multiply and we're going to get 90 mils of ethanol. So a mass percentage one instead. Again, this is mass percentage, so we don't need molar mass. That's just there to mess up with you, mess your head up. So let's start with what we have. What we have is 5.53% by mass, meaning 5.53 grams of nitric acid for every 100 grams of our total solution. Well, then the question then is how many grams do I need? to make a total volume of 500 grams. Again, I cross multiply and the grams of nitric acid that I need is going to equal a total of 27.7 grams. Mole fraction. Mole fraction is going to be how many moles of a given component you have divided by the total. If you have a two component solution, let's say you have A and B, your mole fraction of A plus your mole fraction of B are going to add up to be one. So if I want to know what the mole fraction is of methanol in water, I'm going to need the moles of methanol. I'm going to need the moles of water. And I'm going to take the moles of methanol divided by the total. Well, we've got the grams, 69.8 grams of methanol. We know there's one mole for every 32 grams, and that is going to give us a total of 2.18 mole of methanol. We know that we have 100 grams of water. We know that we have one mole of water for every 32 grams, and that's going to give us 5.56 mole of water. So our mole fraction of methanol is going to equal 2.18 divided by 2.18 plus 5.56. Please note the moles cancel and this becomes unitless and this is going to equal the mole fraction of 0.28. Amount of um, water that we have in here, our mole fraction would be simply 1 minus that. It is very important as we go through here to keep track of what we're looking at. So make sure you really know your definitions of molality and molarity. Know that it's liters of solution and it's going to be mass of the solvent in kilograms for our molality. All right, so if we have a solution that contains 89.7 grams of urea and a total of 700 grams of water, we want the molality. Well, we know molality is going to be moles per kilogram of solvent. So if we start out here with our urea and we take 89.7 grams, we know there's one mole of it for every 60.1 grams, and that is going to give us a total of 1.49 grams. We know we need the mass of solvent in kilograms, so take your 700 grams, one kilogram for every 1,000 grams, or shift a decimal three points, and you're going to get 0.7 kilograms, and our molality is going to be 1.49 over 0.7 kilograms, and it's going to have to be a total molality of 2.13 m. So let's look at a process for solving these problems. We're going to start out with when we convert our concentration units, we're going to start out with whatever we're given and we're going to put it, we know it's a ratio, for example, percent by mass or molarity, molarity moles per liter, percent by mass, grams of solute over grams of the total. And we're going to separate them into two components, the numerator and the denominator. So we may have to do one more step. We may just need the solute and the solvent or we may need the total solution. So we're going to have to be cognizant that our solution is made up of our solute and our solvent, and we may need to separate them. Put our solute into whatever units we need, put our solution or solvent into whatever units we need, and then finish up the problem. So, for example, we have a solution that is 36.5% HCl by mass. First of all, the molar mass of HCl is 36.5 grams per mole, convenient and probably planned, giving us one mole 
of HCL. So that's cool. We need moles for our molality and our molarity. The next step here is that we have to figure out how we're going to get volume of the solution in liters and how we're going to get the mass of the solvent in kilograms. So let's start out with what we know. We know that we have 36.5 grams of HCl over 100 grams of the total, which is going to be the same as 36.5 grams of HCl over 36.5 grams of HCl plus a total here of 63.5 grams of water. Please note our solute and our solvent have to add up to 100. So if we want the molality, we're simply going to take our one mole of HCl. We're going to divide it by the mass of the solute, which is H2O here in kilograms, 0 0.0635 kilograms and we're going to get a molality of this solution of 15.7. Molarity. Molarity instead is moles per liter. Our moles is the same. We have one, but we need liters instead. So, and it's also liters of total solution. So if I have 100 grams, I know the density of the solution tells me that there's one mil for every 1.18 grams, you're going to have to be given the density to make these problems work. And that's going to give us 8.4 mils of solution. So if we take and we put that in liters, we're going to get 0 0.0847 liters. And our molarity is going to be one mole for every 0 0.0847 liters. And that is going to give us 15.7 capital M molar. All right, this one looks fairly straightforward. We're just going from molar molality, or excuse me, molarity into molality. But in fact, this one is the hardest of the lot because we're going to have to separate out how much solute we have from our solvent to make this problem work. So we have 5.86 moles of our ethanol. And that's handy because we're going to need our moles in order to get the molality. We know that this is in one liter of total solution. Well, if we have one liter of total solution, we know that's 1,000 milliliters of total solution. And we know the density is 0.927 grams per mil. And that is going to give us 927 grams of total solution. Well, we also know that our solution is made up of grams of ethanol plus grams of water. So if we take the mass of ethanol and add it to the mass of water, we're going to get our total grams of solution. Well, we have to get grams of water in order to get our molality. It's going to be our mass of our solvent. So in order to do this, we're going to have to subtract out the grams of solute. Well, that's doable because not only do we know our moles of our solute, we know the molar mass of our solute, the molar mass of ethanol, is 42 grams per mole. So if we take our moles and we multiply by the molar mass, 42 grams per mole, we're going to get a total of 242 grams. So if we take our 927 and we subtract our 242 grams of our solute, we are going to get a total of 681 grams of the solvent. We put this in kilograms, we're going to get 0.681 kilograms, and our molality is going to be 5.86, sorry about that, that's a 6, divided by 0.681 kilograms for a molality of 8.60 lowercase m. Keep track again of what you need. What do we have? We have total solution, we need kilograms of our solvent.